Hey everybody, XCI here. Welcome to a blind let's play of To The Moon. I have taken long enough to get this thing started. I have loaded this title screen so many times just to get the settings right because there's no way to change the audio, for example, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm changing the audio going into my headset because it's very loud <laughs> and it's very, it's very beautiful music but it's very loud <laughs> and so um, I had to get the settings right and I had to change literally for this game I had to change all my settings so I basically can't play any other game until I'm done to the moon I could I could just change the settings back but the, what I've learned on this channel is when I mess with settings I end up screwing something up later on so without further ado here is to the moon now I I'm, I'm using a mouse right here, but I think this is best played with um, uh, a gamepad, right? I think. So let me get this sucker out. Except I, I can't do anything with it. So <laughs> I guess not. Uh, let's begin. I Which file would you like to load? I don't... File one. But I didn't start the game. <laughs> I have no game. What are you talking about? What what have I done? I don't even know how to get out of here. here escape. Escape. Load. How do I start the, <laughs> how do I start the game? This is where I'm gonna get stuck. Oh, there we go. I just it's just never mind. My mouse got wonky. Well, I hope the gamepad works. I'm looking forward to this quite a bit. I've heard a lot of good things. I know nothing about it. I'm probably gonna release these uh, before I finish it so please be careful with spoilers down below don't be careful just don't spoil <laughs> don't spoil anything please it's so it's such a tiny screen too it looks like I could doesn't matter let's pay attention here Ken Gao I believe he's a uh, creator it looks amazing the pixel art looks amazing in this I mean that looks very RPG traditional art JRPG okay let's see dr. Rosaline where where were you looking Neil Okay, so I can't use my... Well, give me a sec. This is why you gotta... <laughs> Let me see if I can get this thing working, man. Okay, well, let's put this away. And let's go back to keyboard and mouse. Enter. Yep, okay. Dr. Watts. Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. R you ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Oh, it is definitely a mouse game. Oh. Okie dokie. Left click on an object to interact with it. Ooh, point and click adventure. Yay. Received equipment. And then like this. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Can I? Oh, I can mouse click through this. Perfect. Right click to toggle menu or cancel. To right click to toggle menu or okay. So we have two characters. Neil, uh, Dr. Neil Watts, a uh, technician specialist from Sigmund Core, and Dr. Eva Rosaline, senior memory traversal agent. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can. That's cool. I like that you can write notes on on things. That's cool. Equipment with a box this heavy. What's inside has got to be important. 
Okay. Uh, exit, right click. Yeah, you said. There we go. Let's examine the car. A smoking hot car. How about the squirrel? Can we examine the squirrel? Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it. That was a question. Not a statement. That's asking too much. Uh, okay. What else can I click on? Is there anything hiding? Can I wander off screen? I cannot. Okie dokie. If I hold down the mouse click this. Oh, good, good. Nope, that doesn't work. We have to actually click. That's fine. Okay, so we are going. No, did you just. Was this a driveway originally or did you just. That's, oh, there's a arrow. The arrow right here. Oh, there we go. Street sign. Wiles household ahead. Wills. I got two paths. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. This was actually an opening though. So he, he crashed like perfectly through the driveway opening and hit the tree at the driveway entrance. Congratulations there. What? What is that his name? What's this? So left or right? Left. Always left. Let's go left. The sign of those points to the other. Then why are you giving me an option? Oh. <laughs> How kind of it to exist. Uh, is this just teaching me? Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. What am I doing? Rosaline, come on, make up your mind. Just wanted to see if you remember. Oh, it's a crashed car at this point. You're gonna, how thoughtful of you. <laughs> hey, Birdie. Okay, uh, we can go up. Uh, just checking. Oh, I guess there'd be an arrow if you go off screen. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Oh, is the bird guiding us along? Move the boulder. Rosalind. Who put the boulder here? Maybe it's the security system. Cucumbers? Cucumbers, what? We don't have time for this. Fl Cucumbers. Oh, that's like a curse word? Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. <laughs> Let's try pushing it out of the way. Okay, okay. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Abort mission and go home. There's like a lag, like crazy. Oh, you can, you can actually see the lag on the capture, huh? It's sort of it's sort of disorienting, but okay. Push it by hand. Find a branch. Abort mission. We're not gonna abort mission. Does that just end the game? I didn't know this game was gonna have like choice consequence stuff though. So. No, don't. Don't even don't answer. <laughs> it's fine. I want to find a branch. I'm going to stick to the plan. A branch will do. Let's find a branch. Let's find a branch. Let's get these birds to help us. Uh, branch. I don't even, I didn't see what I grabbed. But okay. Grab the tr tree branch. Got it. Let's go back. And hurry up. All right, this better work. Of course it'll work. I'm a genius. You flattened the rock. Was it a balloon? What was that? I don't even... Oh, is that legit? Oh, it's some kind of... <laughs> of an air ball. <laughs> you don't want to touch it first? Lean on it? Do some... Investigate it a little bit better, Rosaline? All right. We need to get going for now. Right... What was that control thing? I can choose who's in control? You go, cats. And up we go. Yeah. I wish I could make this double the size of the screen. It's very tiny. If I go full screen, I got a super wide screen monitor, and so everything stretches like almost double the width. It just it looks really bad. So unfortunately, I gotta strain my vision. I could lean in closer, I suppose. Where's the music? 
Oh, you get me investigate like crazy right now. Uh, it's as far as we go. Down we go. Man, I miss point and click event. I mean, I played a lot of point and click in the 90s. Holy smokes. Take me back. Just randomly click on things until something triggers. I mean, I know I need to go in the door, but what if something's out there and hiding? I gotta find it all. Knock, knock. It just, there's just so much detail in the art, man. I really feel like I'm underappreciating it by it being this small. Not on recording, but... Ma, they're here! Not a bad place to retire, huh? Oh, it's a retirement home. I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? Oh, that's a question. I really need to look at the end. <laughs> you know the answer, you stupid owl. You're so rude. It's probably going to be another all nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'll have any coffee. You know who's got coffee? <laughs> it's so strong, too. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play the game. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through, not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... What the hell was he doing? Was that... Don't forget the equipment, moron. Good lord, Rosaline, come on. Be gentle with those words. You're so abusive. I don't get paid enough for this. Watts, just suck it up. <laughs> you poetic bastard. Oh, act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Beautiful music. Holy crap. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh, no. I'm just the caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's, it's, listen, if it's, listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Well, what are we? <laughs> well, I guess presumably something to do with the Matrix. Come with me. We are mind doctors. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Ah, clicky, clicky, barber tricky. Received equipment. Okie dokie, we have a... Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Well, yeah, but there's an arrow right there. See what I mean? Like, what do you do here? Do you just follow the rules? Oh, she can... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh, we can go wherever, wherever I want. Here, let's just go. But maybe I shouldn't. No, you know what? She's bossy anyways. She makes some... The patient is waiting upstairs. Better not waste time. Fine! Okay, then. Can I look at anything along the way, though? Can I just, like, let's get some inputs? Piano. Light. What's this? What's this? Oh. I'm not sure what the value of that was, but okay. Some mood lighting. No, I guess you can just... Let's look at the clock. Might be important. It might be important. That kind of stuff. 
Why is there only one hand on there? Is that like 10 to 10, 10 to 10, 10 to 11? 10 to 11? I'm telling you, stuff like that's important. Uh, how do I do this thing again? Because what did I read? Traversal. Memory traversal, that's why. Get your hands off the keyboard. It doesn't matter. Can I? No, okay, let's patient. Let's go up to the patient. Go upstairs. Yes. Okay, they're gone. Oh. Oh, is it the kids? Whoever gets the. F oh, they talked about some robbery thing, didn't they? Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Oh, the robbery. It's the kids. It's the kids. Relax, man. No fair. You pushed me. Tommy. Did not. Johnny. Okay. Sarah. Whatever you get. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyways. Oh, they share the piano and play it together? That was well done. Pixel graphics. You're all amazing. Get my mouse out of the way. Those kids are pretty good for their age. They really are, man. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. Time, you say? And incidentally, and incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Not before I check the clock. Okay, still. <laughs> it's not an accident. No way. No way, Jose. Um, okay, let's not. We can probably do this after, right? So let's just talk now. Ready to set up? Oh, if you're giving me the option, can I put the machine down here first, though? Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> okay, let's go. I mean, if you don't mind, then let's go take... Oh, I gotta go right in front of it. To... A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Oh, is that what was up, up the top of the map? A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. A casual painting of three people. Hmm. Mm, I don't think I want to leave the room, though. That's going too far. <laughs> Let's not abuse things. A selection of readings from medical journals. Anything else? No. All right, let's let's talk to this person first. Let's go over here. Hold on, bud. Oh, I think you're you're not asleep. You're like you're like I mean you're you're asleep sleep. Oh no, you're still you're just asleep. You're not dead yet. Okay. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he'll still consciously he's still consciously hanging on it's hard to say how long you'll have but I would hurry hmm. let's set up I suspect I know it's up here yes I'll just it'll just be a moment Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. We're the experts. The experts. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Standard procedures. Just keep you on your toes. This looks so good. Oh, Lord. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left, that's plenty of time. 
So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we all, but we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. To the moon, Alice. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? Where we're going, we can do anything. It depends. She meant to say yes. It depends, huh? Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Hmm. John is an old man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he's rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I did those four paintings down there. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. I just noticed me rereading things is going to cut up this music, and this music is so pretty that I feel bad about it, but I don't want to be stumbling through stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> just, I got, but I, I got to be cognizant of that this early in the game so that I, you know, if I stumble, I apologize at a time, but I'm probably going to cut much less around that kind of stuff. I'm just going to fix things on the go. Cool? Cool. Hmm. So be it. All right. Which one of us plays detective? Oh my god. Who goes to search the house? This does matter? Hmm. Well, I'm going to make it Watts, I think. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes <laughs> in a high school musical. Good resume there, buddy. I remember you playing Watson. Oh, Dr. Watts. Oh, nice double play there. Meh. Same thing. <laughs> Just configure this. I got to start it anyway. My trailer can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Well, let's see what's out here first, shall we? Is this a veranda or something? Or a window, maybe? What's oh, a room? bathroom? Okay. Okay, what do we got here? What's this thing? This thing. Keep walking, bud. Oh, it's for the light. Just being thorough. Okay. Maybe it'll be important later. Can I talk to... Hmm, I guess not. I mean, he is definitely unconscious. So, well, I think that, that'll probably say the same stuff. So, well, let, no, no, okay, you know what? Let's just check again. Okay, we've been through that. We can go to the... Let, let's just talk to these people while we're here again. Let's see what happens. Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. And you? He is unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. And you? Did you find anything yet, Sherlock? God, you're such a... Such a hard ass. Wait, come back here for a moment. Come on, which is it? Do you want me to go search for things? <laughs> Doctor, I have something for you. Okay. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you uploaded. That would keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. 
why does it show me that flickering though? Because it throws me off. Because I feel like it's telling me to left click, but I mean, I got nothing else to left click. I can right click to here. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, I got a little bit nervous. What if my choices make this matter? <laughs> Dear God. Connects wirelessly to the patient's local monitor. Okay. I'm a, oh, good, good. Thank you for auto saving at decent times. At decent times. But you know what? I'm just going to save here so I don't have to do too much over again. And let's go back into the game. I like how they did that. Well done, well done. Oh, 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 oh. Check the clock. Let's check the clock. I'll explain why I'm doing this for those of you who might be new to the channel. I'm a huge fan of narrative constructs and narrative patterns. And I am already getting a sense that this game is very much, it's going to be a story story. I should ask those kids first. Okay. They want me to go inside anyways. Nah, let's be cool. And so in that first, you know, in these first few minutes, I don't know how long this game is, but we did officially start act one. What you want? Show me around the house. Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. Who did I read before that? <laughs> I'll get this short. Sir, okay, maybe we will. Oh, Johnny was talking. I had Tommy, Tommy was talking. Dr. Watts, maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Oh, they're working me. <laughs> what do you think, Tommy? I'm just gonna do it if you don't. I'm just trying to be polite here, kids. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's do it then. Tommy's a good dude. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. Oh, this is just a talk, not to walk. <laughs> okay. What do you punks want? Oh, dude, just their children. Take it easy. We want one trillion dollars. Right in my. I got that in my pocket. Or the candy cane mom hides for us. Okay, let's go to the kitchen for the candy. Or wherever it is. Kitchen? It'll be in the kitchen, of course. I was thinking cookie when I was saying kitchen. Candy cane could be in the... No, it'll be in the kitchen. It's food. <laughs> Yay for that. <laughs> or that. <laughs> or what? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf, see? <laughs> that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> Cast it. <laughs> Might put it there to save it. For when we do our chore, do do chores. Any chores or are you okay? That's fine. <laughs> Let's just move on. No editing. No editing. This will be hard for me. It doesn't matter. Okay, Tommy, get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. Oh, I could just do it myself though. It's my job, you know. What do you say? Well, cut the crap and help. <laughs> sure, I'll get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk upstairs again, or I tell your mother. The kitchen's door the kitchen's door is right next to the stairs. Now go. <laughs> oh, that's the dining room. It's almost like these it's almost like some kind of terrible quest to get my night started. Yeah, sorta. Okay, I thought this was the kitchen. No, this is the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> this is not the kitchen. <laughs> What did they just say to me? They said, oh, this door. <laughs> Whatever. I know what I'm doing. This is not the kitchen. <laughs> Fine, kids. What is this? Do it. Anyways, so what I was saying about the story driven element is that I feel like um, you can you can grab no, this is the only thing that could be a kitchen, man. The first part of this game, and it's... Shit, okay, I'm distracting myself again. I'll get through it. I'll get through that thought in a sec. There's that candy cane. Hello. Yep. Oh, do I have to move a chair? Probably. Right here. <laughs> That's simple. I better get that stupid candy cane for them while I'm here. I better get that. God, God, fuck. Received candy cane. 
What else we got in here? Did I see a hand? Did I see a hand? Oh, it's for the light. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. <laughs> okay. So, before I move on, I'll wrap up this episode and I'll say, yeah, so... You can... You can take the first part of this game and you can start to uh, assess it for the theme, for example. Um, you're at an old folks home, you know, like it's the idea of like time running out. Uh, the car is going to be meaningful. That crash is going to be meaningful in some, in some way. Um, cause that's going to be, yeah. Anyways, I don't go into deep to it cause, cause I'm afraid of speculating and then people like saying stuff in the comments that actually affirms or denies and that, you know, denial is sometimes an affirmation. So just don't, I'm speculating at this point. Don't correct me. Don't spoil me for the love of God. Don't spoil. <laughs> but the point is is and then there's clocks at places there's someone who's on their deathbed so it really is about the whole like the time running out and we have doctors here who can presumably traverse the mind is what i'm assuming now there's this i've also got this frame of reference there's this awesome short story that was written by neil gaiman it was for a um a collection of well just works for the matrix and I believe it was the first story of that collection. And it's about this guy who um, gets unhooked from the pod. I'm derailing for a second here. You can skip this if you want. But I'll tell you like what like what I'm thinking about as soon as I start playing this game. So it's this guy who gets unhooked from the, this pod. One of those like, you know, the battery pod things. And the machines of the, the actual world, the real world, basically give him a proposition. And it's that there's this alien force... I'm going to be spoiling. I'm going to be spoiling this short story by Neil Gaiman. It was free online, like way back in the day. You could probably find it out there. I forget what it's called. But in any case, so the machines say you have this. We have this proposition for you. You know, the the world is gonna is getting invaded or attacked by this alien race or alien force, and we need someone to get off planet. And basically, I, if I recall correctly, and this is the big spoiler, I believe he takes like a nuke device or something, and he has to set it off. In uh, like over the like in space when the armada comes, and so what they give him is when he gets up into space and he hits the detonation timer. This was so smart. It was such a smart idea, and he's got like ten seconds to detonation or whatever that time was. But the machines put him back into the into the matrix, put him back into the machine, right into the dream sleep, into the into the waking sleep or whatever the hell they call. It. Anyways. And so in those 10 seconds, he actually lives out a full life with the fam like he has a family, he like raises children, he has this full life. And then of course, the end of his life is the end of the 10 seconds, but he's lived a full life. And that blew my mind when I read that short story in any case. Uh, sorry if I spoiled it for you, but I mean, try to find it if you can. <laughs> it's still worth the read, but I spoiled the entire ending. So hopefully you listen to my warning up front. And um, that's the vibe I get from this game right now just with this, the few inputs I got. And with that, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm looking forward to completing this game. If I understood, like if I got the how long to beat, I think it's somewhere in, it's not a very large game. So I hope to do it all in a two, two I mean this weekend. So hopefully I'll do it in two large sittings or three or four short ones, whatever the case might be. I'll catch you in the next episode. Don't forget to explore, engage, inspire, buddy. Peace.